Hey girls, welcome back to my channel. In today's Girl Talk video, we are going to be discussing the importance of having a good relationship with your vagina and with your menstrual cycle and just knowing yourself as a woman, as a girl, wherever you are in your feminine hood, however you identify as female, um, just knowing and having a good relationship with your body. Um, I am going to be speaking from a holistic perspective in this video just because I feel like as soon as a girl has her cycle and our society you know we're throwing birth control at her we're throwing a leave and pampering and all these drugs at her to kind of soothe the pain and to soothe the discomfort and that keeps you from really building a relationship with your body and self-soothing and that ultimately puts you at a disadvantage for when you know you go into labor one day and have kids and you know you don't you know you're in so much pain and in so much discomfort because you've never really taken the time to know your body um, and that can be like that can be applicable to childbirth that can be applicable to just different stages in a girl's life where she has to really be able to know her body. Um, so yeah, so just speaking from experience, I was 11, like going on 12 when I got my cycle. I remember it like very vividly. I was at summer camp and I did a cartwheel and I kind of felt something drop and it wasn't even I felt something like dropping into like my it wasn't like I felt something come out of me like blood coming out of me I just something just in my pelvis something just dropped a little bit um and so I went to the bathroom and I saw like this little bitty red dot just the faintest dot and I was like, you know, like, I don't know what that is, so I'm not going to say anything. And at this point, like, I hadn't had the conversation with my mom about a cycle or a period or what it was or what to do if it happened. My mom got her cycle very late or, like, on the later side, like, around when she was, like, 16 to 18. So, assumingly, she thought I would be the same way. Um, and I went home, didn't say anything to anybody. <laughs> Um, and the next morning when I woke up, I bled through my sheets. And my mom had went to work. And I remember, like, I didn't think I was dying or anything because I felt fine. But I was just like, I don't know what this is, but I should probably find out. Um, and I told my dad, and my dad called my mom. Um, and my mom was at work, and she couldn't get off at the time, so... My dad sat there with me and we fumbled with a pad. <laughs> and my dad and I sat there for like 30 minutes to an hour, like trying to put the pad in my underwear. <laughs> and I don't know, that would just always be like a sweet moment to me because my, you know, my dad is a man. Like that's not something they normally deal with. And I just thought it was really sweet for him to comfort me and for, and for him to be there with me. And he just kind of let me sit in bed and all that kind of stuff and he washed my sheets and all that good jazz so most girls spend their first moments with their mom when they're on this cycle but that was really a bonding experience for my dad and I anyway um so my mom came home that day and she had like a bouquet of Hershey's chocolate with a little red balloon on it that was kind of like winking you know <laughs> and that was supposed to be like a little dot of blood so I thought that was really like cute um looking back on it now and so my mom sat down with me and explained to me what was going on with my body and she told me you know I may feel some discomfort I may feel some cramps um and my mom also explained to me like when you cramp you need to like sink with your body you need to work through that pain my mom only allowed me to have medicine for my period cramps when I was like awful awful in pain which was very rarely um and she encouraged me to be active when I was cramping to move around to to eat something healthy and just to kind of pay attention to what I was feeling instead of just saying that it hurt 
um she off when i told her i was cramping she often asked me like to kind of like describe the pain like what it was feeling like and stuff like that um and i think that's really important for us as women because our bodies are so powerful and because our bodies can produce life for us to really pay more attention to the type of pain that we're feeling instead of just trying to cover up our pain um in addition to that my mom also taught me the 28 day rule um about my cycle and thankfully like my cycle did not take long to get on a regular schedule my cycle probably took about a year and a half um when i first started my cycle it was two weeks long y'all and i had a heavy flow two weeks of a cycle and looking back on it as a 12 and 13 year old i don't know how i did that and then it slowly dwindled down to a week and then to five days and now um with my experience you know being on birth control without a period and getting back on birth control my um and getting off of birth control getting on it and off it um my cycle has dwindled down to a solid three days sometimes um like two and a half and my flow is fairly like light to medium so i think definitely giving your body time to adjust to the changes um and to adjust from readjusting and to adjust to readjusting itself um from getting off of any like medications um like birth control or any i'm sorry y'all there's something in my eye um from getting off birth control and from any like pain medications that you may be taking to alleviate your cramps um so if y'all are not familiar with the 28 day rule once your cycle regulates itself it is supposed to occur every 28 days um you get your cycle once a month um and even if your cycle hasn't regulated yet you can still use the 28 day rule to guesstimate when it will come um, and i know some girls like they don't know when their cycle is coming they just have it just shows up and they're with or without their tampons or their pads and i think that is a very very annoying and inconvenient way to live um definitely use the 28 day rule if you are not using it y'all um and what else can i say i know some girls if you live with a lot of girls you your body will kind of send you triggers and you guys will sync up um i went to an all women's college so pretty much all my friends and i synced up after a while with our cycles um and also like i never really cramped when i was actually on my cycle i got like warning cramps before and i just took that as my body telling me hey you know i'm getting ready to show up um and then i would sometimes get them after but i always 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 um cramped like right before and recently y'all probably like a month ago my cycle just shifted and it usually comes the fourth week of every month so towards the end of the month but now it has started coming i don't i'm sorry if it's too much information for y'all but i'm just kind of like sharing to give insight i'm really comfortable about these types of things um but instead of coming the fourth week of the month it now comes the second week of the month so my period like made a complete shift and started coming like two weeks earlier than what it normally does um or like a week and a half earlier than what it normally does and i think that's because i now um i'm a living nanny to a single mom and her two kids and i think obviously like she and i have synced up um because her cycle usually comes before mine um so that is definitely a thing um and i knew that it was coming early because my body sent me those you know warning cramps um and also i think having a healthy diet contributes to you know your cycle if you have a change in your diet you'll definitely notice that in your cycle i will say as i started eating healthier my cycle got shorter um what my my cycle being three days is definitely like something that has occurred within the last year within me going vegan and so i was raised on an animal-based diet but i was not raised on pork um so never ate a lot of pork growing up when i got to college i cut out beef 
and probably with my junior year of college I cut out chicken and then I was a pescatarian and then a year ago I went vegan so when your diet changes um, whether it changes in a positive way or a negative way you will definitely see those changes in your cycle um, I know like I definitely have but I've also taken like fairly drastic changes in my diet too um, what else do I have for y'all um, yeah I think I just think that as women you know because our bodies are so capable and so powerful and because they're capable of producing life it's just really important for us to be as in tune with our bodies as possible um and you know to not put so many things that mask you know us having a relationship with our body whether that relationship is feeling pain or experiencing changes um i think it's important for us for anyone but especially women um so, you know, just know your body and to, you know, basically not always reach for a painkiller, but to kind of really sit with yourself and say, how can I alleviate this pain or make this pain more subtle in a more natural and holistic way? Um, like I said, when I was cramping, I would, my mom would make me something really healthy and holistic or I would, you know, get active um, and kind of you know do yoga or stretch or something like that and even to this day like when my cycle did that drastic shift from coming the fourth week to the second week and when I got off birth control when my body was detoxing that medicine out of my body y'all I was cramping so so bad I was like this this has to be like what contractions feel like and I was literally just kind of in various positions, just kind of paying attention to the pain and trying to figure out how to alleviate it. Um, and I think that that is definitely an influence of my mom not allowing me to take any and everything under the sun to um, relieve pain, but to help me understand pain and to work through pain um, and and to know that that is my body working that's not my body doing harm to me but that's my body working and doing what it's supposed to do and that's something that I can learn to cope with and learn to be one with so um, I hope this video was helpful for anyone who is just starting their cycle for anyone who's trying to have a better relationship with their cycle um, and just with how that part of their vagina works and all that kind of stuff if you guys want to see more videos on like vaginal health and holistic health and female body health um engage with me in the comments below like comment and subscribe i really do enjoy talking about these kinds of things i have a very liberal perspective on these kinds of things too um so i'll see y'all in the next video bye